Yeah, I mean, I'm excited. Obviously, it's kind of like your first day of school. Uh, you get those butterflies again. Even though I'm going into year 10, you still get that same feeling as if you were a rookie. You're excited about um, the journey that's about to begin. Uh, this is my first training camp here in Arizona, so it's uh, a lot of new things, which I'm excited about. Um, and just getting in the rhythm, and it's fun to see all the guys again. Um, everyone did great on the conditioning test, which was great to see. Um, but we're excited about the journey that's about to take place. Oh man, it's a breath of fresh air for sure. I mean, I've been running outside in the 110 degree heat into going there today. It was 75 degrees, a little air conditioning. It, it was perfect for training camp. Um, but overall, the setup's been great. Everyone's been so helpful, um, I would say, in the whole process. And so there's, there are no complaints from me. Yeah. Uh, not really. I mean, obviously, that kind of was motivation for the off season. But today is the first day of an entire new season. Um, I don't know what the roster turnover specifically was for this team compared to last year, but I'm assuming it was high, just like it is every year. And so the majority of guys weren't here to experience that. And so we're not going to sit here and dwell on that. Um, we're moving forward. We're excited with the pieces that we have, especially on offense. We feel like we can be um, an extremely dynamic team, um, score a lot of points, um, especially with our personnel. But at the end of the day, it's easy to talk about. We got to go out there and prove it each and every day during training camp. And hopefully that um, propels us to start fast on September, September 11th and then finish strong ultimately. Yeah, I mean, last year was was such a blur. Um, there were so many different emotions. Obviously, I had an amazing run in Philly for a long time. Um, and that last camp was kind of a day-by-day -day thing. I didn't know if I was going to be there the, the next day from the prior day. Um, so overall, uh, it's a very I'm very fortunate to know that I'm going to be here this year and I'm going to be. But at the same time, I got to go out there and prove myself. I don't have this mentality that... My job is safe. Uh, I got to go out there and compete each and every day and prove not only to myself uh, and I would say to the coaching staff, but also to my teammates that I'm a guy that they can count on um, each and every Sunday, Monday, Thursday going forward during the season. So, yeah, there's a lot of uh, things that are stable per se, but at the end of the day, the NFL is something that can change, in a, I would say, in a heartbeat. So I got to go out there and prove it, and I'm excited about the opportunity. I mean, I think as a tight end room, we got a really good tight end room. Uh, there's a lot of depth. There's a lot of guys that have played football. Um, and there's also some young guys. And so um, it's up to us to, I would say, set the standard each and every day. We're going to pride ourselves on, I would say, being a group that shows up to work every day, eager to get out there and compete. Um, and that's something that I've always prided myself on, no matter what time of year it is. Every time I'm on the practice field, I'm pushing myself to get better because I can, the only thing I can control each and every day is whether I'm getting better or I'm getting worse. And so for me, that's how I look at training camp during the season. My goal is to get better, I would say, today than I was yesterday. Um, and if I continually do that, I know I'll put the team in the best possible situation it can be. Yeah. I mean, I think uh, obviously every receiver tight end wants the ball as much as possible. There's no shying away from that. But at the same time, the ball is going to find the open guy. Kyler's not someone that just sits back there and picks who he's going to throw to pre-snap. He's the guy that's going to throw to the open guy. Um, and so I have this philosophy that I'm just going to put wins on tape. Um, and eventually the quarterbacks will see it enough that if I do that, I'll get the ball. If I don't do that, I'm not going to get the ball. And I don't deserve to get the ball if that's the case. So for me, I just focus on getting open to the best of my abilities. Um, we got a lot of guys that have had a lot of individual success between myself, AJ, DeAndre. Um, and so the most important thing for us is winning football games and hopefully winning the Super Bowl. And so that's the ultimate goal. Um, the catches, yards, touchdowns, those will fall where they may. Um, but none of us are going to be stressing about it. Last year, that Kyler didn't know the 
<laughs> no, Kyler knows the playbook better than anyone on this team. Uh, he's been in the system for a long period of time. Um, ultimately, I'm happy that he signed a deal that he's happy about. And I don't, I wasn't obviously there for the process. It's way above my pay grade, but he seems like he's in a really good place mentally today. Um, and he seemed like he's been in a really good place all off season, in my opinion. I think he's learned from the Rams game. We've all learned a lot. Um, the addendum is what it is, but in my opinion, Kyler's the guy that knows the playbook inside and out. When I first got here last year, he was the guy that was helping me along in learning the playbook. Um, and ultimately, I got to be on the same page as him. So he was helping me with all of that. And ultimately, he's happy. And no matter what the contract says in the language, um, he's happy. And that's all that matters to me. Yeah, I think um, it's a big part of my process. Um, I have a very routine week during the season. Um, I watch the same film on Tuesday that I do Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, and so it's a very routine based based on the, I would say the install that's going in. So Wednesday is kind of the base game plan. Thursday is kind of third down. Friday is typically red zone. And so I kind of break it up by that. And then by the end of the week, I'm watching just normal game film. I'm tr but also, you can get so hyper-focused on film that it becomes you're trying to see things that really aren't there during the game. And so there's definitely a fine, li fine line, in my opinion, of watching too much film and trying to overanalyze things um, and also just playing fast and playing to the best of your ability. So I think each and every player has to find their own process and what that looks like during the week. Um, and I think I've got a pretty good feel for it at this point. Yeah, I mean, I think everyone's excited. I mean, I can't speak for certain about his mental capacity or whatever, um, but I know everyone's excited about this year, you know, especially on offense. We got the tools to be a really good offense, but like I said earlier, no one's expecting to go out there and put up 45 points against the Chiefs week one. We got to earn it each and every day. And um, I think that's something that you got you to gotta love this time of year. You know, people say training camp is a grind, and it is a grind, um, but it's part of this journey that we're about to partake in. Um, and something that we can get better. Even now in year 10, I'm looking forward to getting better in these next five weeks before the first game. And so, um, yeah, it's a grind. Yeah, it's a, there's a lot of mental things you got to deal with. But at the end of the day, it's about getting better. And if you love the process of getting better, then it is what it is. Uh, no, anytime I brought up questions about how their defense was playing certain techniques or whatever, he knew exactly what I was talking about. So from my standpoint, I'm not in there watching film with him, obviously. I've been, I play tight end. He plays quarterback. We're in different meeting rooms. But anytime I wanted to talk about certain techniques that they were doing or what I saw based on my study, he was on the same page with me uh, the majority of the time. So I never got that impression. Yeah, I mean, I think he's going to be a really good player. Uh, Trey's a guy that's got really natural hands. Um, you can tell a lot of guys kind of fight the ball um, and struggle catching, but Trey is just a natural pass catcher. Um, he's never thinking about the actual catch. Um, obviously, OTAs is, is kind of grass basketball, so you can't get a feel of how someone's going to block or whatever. Um, but you could tell he's a willing blocker, that he's um, eager, and he's very engaged in the process of being a good blocker. Um, so I'm excited to see him over these next few weeks to see what he can do. Obviously, day one camp long ago, but you've been here before. What would you view, it, how would it be a success for you uh, at the end of training camp if you were to look back? What would it, what, how would you define it? Would you success? For me individually? Yeah, I mean, I think for me individually, it would just be continually to step up, I would say, um, in the leadership role. Obviously, last year it was kind of a blur. I wasn't able to kind of leave my mark as a leader, I would say, as much as I would like because the team was in such a good place when I got here. I didn't want to – I just kind of wanted to fall in line. Uh, but now that the season's starting, we need all the leaders to step up and kind of set the tempo. Um, so for me individually, I think that's a big part. Obviously, continuing uh, the work with Kyler um, and being on the same page with him. 
um, and just gaining the trust of the coaches, I would say. You know, I don't expect to come in here and just feed it, feed off what I did last year in the, in the last 11 games. Um, I expect to prove it each and every day I'm out there that the coaches can trust me. And if I do that, I feel like that's a successful training camp. What are, what are some of the lessons that you learned from the Rams? Yeah, I mean, you just, um, we got to be more detailed. We got to start fast. And you can't let the momentum of a game, a prior game. I mean, the end of the season just wasn't up to our expectations. I would say you can't take the one game, and obviously it was the playoff game. It was the last game. It's the game that everyone's focusing on. But the last couple games weren't good enough, in our opinion, or up to our standard. Um, so we just got to continue to work hard, trust the process, improve the process, um, and find a way to get better at the end of the year and finish strong and take that momentum into – Hopefully the playoffs. Obviously, it's too early to talk about playoffs or talk about the end of the year. Um, but there's a lot of lessons to be learned throughout the year. How was it working out with JJ all offseason? It was great. I mean, I think this has been one of the best off seasons I've had. This is probably the best my body's felt in a really long time. Uh, probably the strongest I've been in a while. Uh, but it's been great. Uh, hopefully he can say the same about me. But I haven't really been able to find a guy like that that's been able to push me continuously um, and cares about how I'm doing, the, the results that I'm getting um, in the process. And so for me, uh, it was a great off season. Obviously, Buddy Morris is probably the best strength coach in the NFL. Not probably. He is the best strength coach in the NFL. Uh, so to be able to work with those two guys for the past five, six months has been a blessing. Uh, no, we, we, we did all buddies work, so it was a good thing. Yeah, it was huge. I mean, obviously, um, being a free agent, you don't know exactly what the future holds, but I made a point to my agent that this is where I wanted to be. And so whatever it took to, to get it done, I wanted, you know, no matter what the other offers would have been, um, I wanted to find a way to get it done here. Um, my wife is obviously from here. We're, we're expecting her soon. Um, so we're excited to kind of start building our family out here. Julie's parents, her sister's out here. Uh, my mom will probably be out here in the next six months. Um, and so it's, it's fun. I mean, it's, 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 it's an amazing, amazing city. Um, hopefully we can continue to make the fans proud the way we play and continue to build kind of an amazing culture out here between the players and the fans. Um, but there's nothing better than Arizona in the off season. I can tell you that much. <laughs> Uh, no, no, not yet. Um, I'll have about two months on him, so I'll be able to hopefully impart some wisdom on him. Has he convinced you to name your kid after him or vice versa? <laughs> no. We don't have a name yet, so we're still trying to figure out that process. How do you feel about Arizona wanting to be here? How much do you feel having a quarterback like Kyler and what this team is doing play a role in the playoffs? Yeah, I mean, I think playing with Kyler last year uh, in 11 games, I think we could tell right away that we saw the game very similarly. Um, I think the, I would say the chemistry was evident early on. Um, and I did the best of my ability to get open, and he did the best he could to throw the ball, and I think it worked out pretty well. Um, and then I would say with Cliff and Steve getting their extensions, being here for a long time, I know the foundation of this team um, well from last year. And so knowing that, I felt confident that, hey, this is a team that's on the rise. Um, that can continue to improve and get better, and it's something that I wanted to be a part of.